these as we just realized we forgot <laughs> half the tripod so shout out to us for not being prepared but thank you for joining let us know where you're watching from because it seems to be the way we start to most of our live streams yeah is anyone. introducing everybody and saying what's up to all of our loyal and lovely subscribers as I jiggle with the tripod here. So we came to a place today that was, um, our intention was it was like a uh, pedestrian walkway, although it's more like a bike path. So we seem to be the only non-bikers in the bike path, but we can at least wander around and... Uh, <laughs> try to make it happen. Anyone watching from Peru? Hopefully we can get some Peruvian followers. Okay, we're gonna abandon this and just hold it with our hands. Okay. Boom, okay, let's walk guys. We're ready. So here we are. Uh, we've got a little bit of a bike path happening over here. Fancy pants. There was a market here, but apparently it's closed on Sundays, which is bad luck for us. Uh, another gray day. It seems like every day they got gray clouds. Somebody watching from Uzbekistan, shout out to Uzbekistan. Would love to go there. Maybe we can go in the Inca Plaza in a second. Maybe there's something in there. I think it's like uh, traditional clothing and uh, interesting stuff in there. Maybe we can go in the Inca Plaza. Let me just walk over here. Shout out to Montreal in the chat. Uh, shout out to Pakistan, of course. Actually, guys, we are thinking of uh, we think we've made some plans for the future a couple months, so we should be back in Pakistan. Hopefully September is the rough mm -hmm. I think the most common comment on our channel is when are you coming back to Pakistan? <laughs> so it should be uh, It should be September or so yeah, many vloggers are in Pakistan now uh, Lots of videos from there. It seems like we sort of were at the very tip of the wave because yeah. we went to Pakistan for three months and after that a lot of people started going yeah so I think we sort of set the tone people saw how great Pakistan is oh check this out come on we've got uh, Inca Inca market here okay interesting Hola. where's Canada Canada flag where the small, uh, oh there Canada flag yeah 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 Okay, nice store. Maybe some souvenirs to buy. Shout out. So, not sure how long today's live stream will be. Uh, we did just go to the gym for the first time in months, and my legs are killing me so bad. So, it might be a uh, walking slow type situation. I guess we're early today. They're just opening up. Okay, interesting. Shout out to just me in the chat. Uh, super commenter top commenter what would you buy Ivana would you buy an old backpack uh, I mean a colorful backpack you'd buy a what oh I think some of these guys are actually made from llama wool quite interesting hola yeah everyone's just opening up I think we're bright and early babe classic oh I should buy a hat like that can I see this hat uh, no, the, the, the brown one with all the colors. No, the one that's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Good. Oh, it's too small. Too small? Head. Okay. Does it look good? I like it. <laughs> but it's small. Too small? It's small. Okay, it's okay. Uh, Quanto? 20. Oh, can you go lower? Pretty good, right? No? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 25 already, look at that. Oh, let's see what dollars. else they have. They look good. Yeah, because you guys, what do you hat, think of Steve's hat? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah, Steve lost his hat, the black one. Oh, that one is cool too. Looks good, everyone is saying yes. Oh, too small. Too small. Big one, big one? Big. No. Maybe this one. Same size. Oh, maybe this one actually. How about this, Steve? Small. Big or small? Uh, same. 
this one nice. It says Machu Picchu on it. Try it. It's too small? Too small, man. Too small, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big head. Uh, maybe it's okay, Is it the size okay? It goes down here. Yeah. Okay, if the size is good. Yeah. I can swim? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hello, Jasmine me Hero Katalin is on the chat. Everyone, hello, okay. hello. Okay, so everyone is saying uh it's nice. You got money? I got money. It looks nice, no? Cool, Steve. Jasmine said over 20 soles. <laughs> 25, I think it's okay. We're so bad at this. Yeah, it's yeah, good? Yeah, we don't appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> We're so bad at negotiating, to be honest. Yeah, thank you. And the lady is nice. So. <laughs> Gracias. Oh, let's go, cool, Steve. Let's go? Cool? Yeah. Everyone's saying nice. <laughs> Thank you. So I had one just like this before, but the, uh, the black one I left on the bus. Yeah, that you. sucks. Okay, let's go around. Ooh, all the musical instruments here. Look at this. Ah, very nice. Traditional Inca market. The thing we've noticed is they're kind of like tourist market. <laughs> yeah. Especially in Lima, you're not seeing this. Right. These outfits on anyone but tourists. Yeah, I think so. Only tourists wear all this type of yeah. like patterns and <laughs> everything. Hola. Hola. Look at this. It's a nice market actually. Uh, okay. Is it on backwards? Yes, it is. I think it is backwards. I like it's like okay. That. Okay. That's my style. <laughs> my whole life is a little backwards, eh? <laughs> Let me just read some of the comments here. Oh, Skylove is here. Hello from the Netherlands. It's still happening. Oh. But it's early. I think they're practicing. Oh, practicing. Practicing. Okay. Cool. Very nice. Ooh. That's Machu Picchu behind her. Come to Brazil, please. Yes, we will come back. Oh, it's too hot for that right now. In Machu Picchu. Yeah, <laughs> even in Machu Picchu, I don't think it's cold. Look at this. This is so cool too, guys. I want to buy them all. <laughs> uh, Maureen from London. Hello, Maureen. Hello, Sharon. Let's see. Well, guys, stay tuned to our channel. We are hopefully going to Peru versus Paraguay World Cup qualifier. Ah. I think they're going to open the ticket sale soon, and we're going to try to buy some as soon as we can. Yeah, that would hopefully be we can get it. Yeah. Because it's like, I think like whoever wins, it's not whoever wins will qualify, but if Peru wins, they're more likely to qualify. Mm. So it's sort of like a World Cup match being qualified. Should be very exciting. <laughs> Who else? Oh, someone is saying rip drone, rip black hat. <laughs> yeah. Too bad. Although that little piece that I told you guys, I told you guys I lost, that was $50 adapter, yeah. we found it. Yeah. So we got one thing back, something dead. Uh, is there any food in here? Let's see, I'm so hungry. Look at all this stuff, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, you can buy that one. I'll have your hat. I like your hat. This is kind of like a cowboy's hat. Hola, buenos dias. Can I try? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no, Steve. He's gonna spend all the money today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Be honest. I think it's, your head is too big. Does it fit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Too small. Too small. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello from Vancouver for John Doe. Okay. Hello. Oh, silver. Wow. Ah, thank you. Let's see. Let's go this alley. Let's go this alley. Sweaters. 
nice sweater, no? Yeah, you can get one. Uh, in and maybe in Cusco we'll get it. I think in Cusco you get it's uh, cheaper, uh, I think. Nice in Cusco. Yeah. Lots of silver. Yeah. <laughs> Gracias. So it looks like we came to the market. Yeah. Too early. Yeah, too early, and it's a Sunday, so I think most of the shops are closed on Sundays. Mm. Oh, look at this. Wow, so fluffy with the llama and alpaca. Oh, <laughs> so fluffy. Uh, so colorful though, wow. So colorful. How are the prices in Lima? Uh, I would think it's a bit cheaper than Brazil in Peru. Think so? I think so for yeah. accommodations clear, and the stuff. The place we're staying in Lima is yeah. like the tourist area. Yeah. So it's probably more expensive in our area than everywhere else yes. in Lima. But exactly. still pretty good prices. Like for dinner for us, we might spend like twenty dollars. Yeah, for both both of us. Yeah. For two meals and two drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, at the grocery store, you can get six beers for uh, six dollars, uh, five dollars. Mm-hmm. Dollar beer. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. I will say our trip has been pretty good because we're with Wi-Fi artists and we've got a whole bunch of friends. We're going to the gym with people. We're doing like dinners with people. They're giving us a gift. Yeah. We're playing games to like meet people. They have so a networking e event, which we will be like, we will talk on one of the events. Yo, we're going to do an uh, hour long presentation <laughs> on our life as digital nomads. Yeah. In front of maybe up to 18 people. <laughs> or more had, or less. Last week they had 18 people at their presentation and someone else presented, but... Uh, on Tuesday, we're going to do a presentation yeah. on stage. Um, yeah. Antonio Costa is asking, is Lima the only city you are going to in Peru? Uh, no, we will go to Cusco for sure, which is the gateway to Machu Picchu. We've also made the decision that after our one month with our new friends, Wi-Fi artists, we will be probably staying in Peru. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because we're just slow travelers together. Yeah. <laughs> you know? We're slow. So, We'll probably be two months in Peru. Yeah. Uh, are you enjoying the food here? What do you think, Steve? Yo, the food is really good. Yeah, we tried ceviche, ceviche in the nice. local market. But even just like food, like international food. Yeah, true. The chefs are just really good. They just prepare, well, prepare food well. Again, Lima is the gastronomic capital of how South they, America. How do they decide that? How do they, who agrees on that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like people, Michelin, people most Michelin star agree, restaurant? You know? Other people might say maybe not. <laughs> in Lima, they tell you it's the capital. Right, <laughs> right. Okay, let's keep going. Hola. Hola. Oh, this is cute. Uh, do you guys see a big difference between Portuguese and Spanish? Um, yeah. yeah. Spanish comes easier. <laughs> I don't know why, but Spanish... I think I'm more familiar with Spanish from USA. It has like a big Spanish culture. But Spanish has come easier. Right. Portuguese came so hard. <laughs> everything wrong. Spanish is easier. Yeah. Uh, well, we find we also find uh, a lot more English speakers here in in Peru. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I will say this. In Peru, the people are very dedicated to the masks. The oh, yeah. Only, Steve, you, put on your mask. <laughs> I can't hear you. This mask is so cool. Um, only tourists pull the mask down. Yes. Locals wear the mask. Yeah. Inside and two masks in stores. True. Locals are very dedicated to the mask. Yeah. As is one guy with no mask in behind. <laughs> First guy I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a store. Nothing is open yet. He's like, it's, it's okay. The poncho? Yeah. Looks good, right? Yeah. Looks like you're wearing a carpet. Which one sounds better, Spanish or Portuguese? Uh, sounds better? Yeah. <laughs> Spanish. Oh, bad answer. Maybe Spanish. <laughs> Spanish. Portuguese is more hard. It has a the, 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 uh, Oh, it's it's the, harder, but does it sound better? <laughs> I think Spanish is more beautiful. More really? Spanish. Yeah. Oh, I like uh, I like the sound better. of Deutsch, Deutsch Portuguese better. Portuguese sounds harder. For me, Portuguese is more like singing. Really? Yeah, more melodic. Oh, interesting. This llama. 
or alpaca. I actually cannot tell the difference between llama and alpaca. <laughs> Let's see. What is this? Oh, this is so cute. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so now Brazilians have made their choice. They prefer Ivana. <laughs> hey, he's still wearing fashco though. <laughs> Come on. For purpose, I'm wearing <laughs> When are you going to Cusco? Okay, so probably within in a few weeks we will go to Cusco. Maybe in two weeks or at the end of the month. I don't know yet. Is there food here? The Wi Fi artists, our group, will yeah. go to Cusco. We'll only go for like three or four days. Yeah. So we might go with them and then come back. And then after the trip is over with them, go back for like two weeks. Yeah. Uh, or I might not even go with them, but maybe we should go with them. Mm -hmm. We'll see. But we'll definitely be there in the next couple of weeks. I mean, the next month. Yeah. Let's go here. Oh, okay. oh, this is by the way, um, the jersey. Yeah, it looks just like basketball. Soccer, uh, Basco, football Basco jersey. Line. Yeah. Football same, right? Oh, yeah. Well, by one, if we go to the Peru Paraguay game, we'll for sure get all geared up. I'm going to pay my face. I'm going to put a P, and then my friend will be E. Yeah. And my friend will be R. The national football jersey of Peru. That's cool. Oh, they have everything that I want here. Ooh. The Fashko of Peru. <laughs> Hola. Oh, look at this, Steve. Steve. Guinea pig. Oh. By the way, it's also a meal here. <laughs> would you eat it? Yeah. Would you guys would you guys eat guinea pigs? Let us know. And what do you think it tastes like? I think it will taste like rabbit. I think it will taste like pork because it says pig in mm. the middle. Oh, <laughs> but it's small. <gasps> yeah, maybe rabbit is right, you wanna. Yeah. I and mean, rabbit is Oh. No gracias. Look at this. <laughs> just me saying just buy something but uh do it just to improve your negotiation skills worse. <laughs> i know we are a dollar or two, I say, ah. yeah we are so bad yeah sharon came in saying it tastes like chicken can you think yeah a gourmet meal <laughs> anderson self i saying i would eat anything that moves <laughs> <laughs> Shirley is asking uh, or is saying, Steve, you haven't danced in a while. Dance? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Carlos Diaz says, disgusting. <laughs> Understandable. I guess guinea pig is a rodent. I think you're right about it. Probably tastes like rabbit. I think it would taste like rabbit. I don't know though. Because it's like kind of like the same body. Rabbit. Yeah. Should be okay. Yeah. Oh, Ronnie is here. Hi, Steven. Ivana. Hello, Ronnie. Uh, History Knowledgeable is asking, where are you going after Peru? We don't know yet. Uh, <laughs> Honestly. We'll be back in Canada in May. Other than that, we will be in Peru. Maybe we'll go to Bolivia or something, something hmm. nearby. Yeah. I'd go to Suriname. Yeah. We'll be Suriname. We don't know yet. Maybe back We're to free. Brazil. I don't know. The Wi-Fi artists are going to Mexico City. So we might go Mexico. We'll Mexico City. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We'll uh, someone says uh, JB is saying come to Sweden. We will go to. Sweden. I would Sweden love to go like, to Sweden. But but, yeah, it's cold right now. Negative twenty. 
Uh, Dodo Explorers are here. Shout Hello, Mike and Gigi. Barefoot in a rice field. <laughs> Steve, they're asking, Steve, estoy embarazada. Estoy embarazada. Am I pregnant? Is that what that means? <laughs> yeah, that's what it means. <laughs> I think that's what it means. Maybe are you embarrassed? But I think embarazada means pregnant. I don't know. Or is it embers? Embers. I don't know. Oh. Ronnie is saying, come to Malaysia, our borders are now are we'll opening up on we'll the first of it. Yeah, I think by the end of the year, we'll be in Malaysia. See? Oh, how about, will you guys do Canada? I love Toronto. Yeah, we'll yeah, be back. We, we're going to really rely on you guys to let us know what to shoot in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know what a tourist would... I feel like Toronto is so uninteresting for tourists. <laughs> but it's because I'm from there. But we'll ask you guys uh, to help us out with what we can do. Yeah. Go to some hockey thing. What is Canadian culture? It's like nothing. Uh, it's so like... We'll, work on it. but we'll, well Toronto is very multicultural. That's the culture. Oh, yeah. We can do like Indian food video or like yeah. Pakistani food and like, and like Malaysian food somewhere. I'm sure it's right. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Antonio Costa is saying, come back to Brazil only during the World Cup. Maybe we will. Oh, Steve, for your girlfriend? It's so colorful. Bracelet? No, thank you. Uh, have you been to Dubai? Uh, yes, we have been to Dubai. Uh, oh, look at a guinea pig. Embarazada is pregnant in Spanish and em embers in Portuguese. Ah, okay. Got it. Oh, Yasin is here. Hello, Yasin. How are you, my friend? Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is so beautiful. Oh, yes. I want that one for sure. Which one? This. This one. Oh, it's so yeah, nice. Yeah. Just like a decoration. And then we have an Indian market just across from it. Okay. Oh, look at all the dream catcher oh look at the size of the dream catcher yeah oh, let me jump on that is so cool everything is so colorful i love it okay want to go to the indian market or we should get some food let's see what is around what would be the difference between an indian market and an inca market would that be the same thing uh Probably they sell almost the same thing inside. See, I can kind of see it from here. So this is the Inca Plaza, and that one is the Indian Market. I think they will be same, no? the same. Yeah. yeah so. Now in Lima, you don't need to go to the crosswalk. You can just walk across the road whenever you feel like it. Uh, someone is asking CNN actually. What name CNN? <laughs> CNN. Yeah. Okay, nice. Do they play sports on the beach like in Brazil? No, Brazil no. is the world capital of beach sports, I'm telling you. No, not in Brazil. Uh, not here. Although we haven't been to the beach too much because although we're not far from the beach, uh, there's a huge cliff and there's only yeah. one road to get down the cliff Let's and see. it's kind of far. So it's physically close to the beach, but in okay. terms of time to get to the beach, it takes a while. Uh, look at this place. Yeah, it looks like it's almost the same. Just markets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the sun is up. It's hot now. Hmm. Yeah, in Lima, I think it's more surfing. It's the sport. Lots of surfing. Lots of surfing. To be clear, we haven't actually been on the beach, but we've been on the cliff above looking at it. Yeah. Uh, no football nets or Football yeah, but surfing. and the surfing. beach here it's more like pebbles, not sand. Yeah, yeah, pebbles. Hello. Not sand. Hello. Hello. 
Where should we go, Steve? Let's go over there. Sure. Look at this. Don't you guys just want to buy everything here? Wow. Very cool. Nice hat, Steve. Oh, we got a super chat here from Anderson Silva. Thank you so much for your super chat. Love you guys video since oh, Malaysia. That's an wow. Original, that's an original subscriber. Yeah, thank you, Anderson Silva. That might be one of the oldest subscribers. Yeah, I think so. Because Malaysia was the first country we started going out in. Yeah. So that's more than a year for sure. Maybe a year and a half or two years. Uh -huh. Shout out. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> thank you. Uh, are people there welcoming? What do you think, Steve? I think so. They're more reserved. They're more reserved. Yeah. In Brazil, they're very... In Brazil, they approach you and they see that you have a camera and they're so excited. Very good yeah. camera. Uh, Peruvian people, still very friendly, still very interested, but they're just more reserved. Yeah, that's right. Also, we're staying in a super tourist area. So yeah. maybe they're just familiar with tourists. Oh, that's maybe. They just kind of expect tourists and they're not, they're not Yeah. Nice. Uh... Have you been receiving recommendations from local viewers? Not quite yet. So that's what we're hoping to do is get yeah. some local. Yeah. Although because it'll be the best experience for us with our locals. Yes. Advice. Yes. Although yesterday we met we met a Brazilian guy who lived in Peru for the past 10 years and he took us around. That was awesome. <laughs> so a Brazilian subscriber who was following us in when we Brazil? were in Brazil. Uh, he's living in Lima with a Peruvian girlfriend. Yeah. So we met the couple and the four of us went around and that's where we got our good advice from. Yeah. But in terms of from YouTube, not yet. Yeah. But so we will open some doors. And we should be here for two months. It's pretty nice so far. Yeah, I like it. I like it's it funny so far. That, uh, the Peruvian lady that we met yesterday, Diana, she says that the place we're staying is so safe and so clean. Mm -hmm. She goes, she'll take us to the real Lima. So we left our little area of the city. We went over there and uh, we were still bought. It, it was still nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was still really nice it was more crowded and like lots of people around. Yeah. And, and more, like, yeah. Like, she like, warned us, ethnic. like, she warned us, like, about pickpockets and like hold your cameras really tight. But uh, we felt safe. It was super safe. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we quite like Lima, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I got another question here. Oh, another super chat from Ronico. Ronico, shout out. That's another Thank you so much. Oh, he's saying, let me buy you guys some food. Food in Peru looks very good and delicious. Sounds good. I'm actually so hungry. Yeah. So okay, Ronnie, we have to look for food for you. <laughs> I mean, for us, but for you too. From you. From you. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, okay, let, let, let's go around, Steve, while I read the comments. Sure, let's go. Come back to Romania. Catalina is saying to come back to Romania. Yes, of course, maybe during the summertime. Ah, someone is saying there is a, there's actually a wall, Steve, that separates the poor and the rich here. A wall? Really? Really? Interesting. Uh, maybe we'll investigate that. Something yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Want to go get some food? Yeah, where though? Uh, well, I'll not see. in here for sure, not in this little plaza. Okay. So we'll go oh. up the street and we'll go wander around. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not surprised, Brazilians are everywhere. Yeah, they're here too in Peru. <laughs> Actually, our Brazilian friend is amazing. He spent like... Uh, Before living in Peru, he lived in Japan, Japan. and he's, he speaks Japanese. <laughs> perfect Japanese yeah. as well as Spanish as well as English as well as Portuguese, Portuguese. yeah <laughs> so it was nice yesterday that video will come out Tuesday you'll see us going with them right uh, Chinatown and the downtown historical center All right nice. uh, sky love is saying Peru is safe yes we feel very safe here yeah. um, so far uh, oh unicorn Anas. yes love from Serbia of course thank you love Serbia back <laughs> hello from Ireland. Hello, hello, hello. How is it going in Ireland? We have not been there yet. Uh, let's see. Have you visited some favelas in Lima? No, we have not. The last time we visited a favela in Brazil, it wasn't very good, so we might not do it here. 
We were we were gonna go up to the top of the hill to like go through with the elephant yeah. viewpoint, but it was closed. Yeah, it was closed, so we couldn't access it. Uh, more touristy stuff. Yeah. I'm super excited for Machu Picchu. Yeah. I've been reading all about the Incas. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Did yeah. you know the rapper Tupac was named after a Peruvian guy? A Peruvian king, yeah. The Peruvian king was named Tupac. Yeah. And Tupac, the rapper's mother, read about him and thought he was an amazing guy. And so Tupac, the rapper, was named after a native, uh, like, indigenous. Peruvian yeah. King. That's amazing. See, Romania is here, Pakistan is here. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on, Steve. Uh, do you intend to go to Nigeria? Uh, not enough plans yet. There's some friends you went there. Yeah. Um, they said it was quite rough for the big camera and microphone. Mm -hmm. So we had a tiny bit of that in Rio, and we're sort of scared of that. That's we true. We're sort of tame. Uh, <laughs> we're kind of scaredy cats, really. Yeah, yeah. Do they have any Malaysian food in Peru? Ronnie, I actually looked this up the other day, and no, they don't have it. Uh, Unless someone else know. <laughs> know but lots of Chinese food. Chifa food, which is like the Peruvian Chinese food. Okay, let's go and look for some food. Uh, let's go back through the market yeah, okay. go back to that strip okay see hello Fabio thanks for joining us <laughs> ah hello? yeah 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 can hello? we cross okay hello? cross 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 yes yes power of hand Yeah, okay. go through it again. No. Okay. Uh, what is Steve saying here? What is it? Calendar Nazca. What's Nazca? Nazca. I don't know what Nazca is. January. Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Laurel. I don't know. February. Curious. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Gracias. Hey. Uh, love your market vlogs. Uh, Please bring lacuma, lacuma fruit to Serbia. <laughs> How do we bring lacuma fruit to Serbia? Hmm. Maybe we'll sneak a seed for you. <laughs> Yo, lacuma is so good. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It tastes like caramel. It tastes like uh, it tastes like caramel. They made that after they tasted lacuma. Like lacuma was the inspiration for caramel. Right. It's amazing. Uh, oh, YouTube, love your vlogs. Any plan to come back to Pakistan? Another Pakistan question. I'll tell you, most commonly asked question. Uh, it should be September ish, but it all depends yeah. on if we can get a visa. We were trying to be in Pakistan two, three months ago, no, like yeah. four months ago now, and our visa got rejected. So, fingers crossed. Our actual plan is after Canada to go to Bangladesh because to get to Bangladesh, you have to go to a Canadian embassy, and it's much difficult. So if we're in Canada anyway, we can do the embassy and then go to Bangladesh and then Bangladesh to Pakistan. This is our idea. Yeah. But right now to go to Bangladesh from here is quite difficult because you got to go to the embassy and you need documents and we figure we'll do that anyway. <laughs> That's our idea. This. this is about as much blue skies as you're gonna get in it was actually quite bright today but it's always cloudy and it's amazing yeah. that there's like 
almost no rainfall. Yeah. You think no rainfall, you think no clouds. That's right. Cloudy every day and almost never rain. Yeah. It's very um, yeah, the wall situation here, this is the first time I heard of it. It is quite sad, yes. Uh, any plan to lost another drone? Actually, no, because we don't have one now. <laughs> so no plans to lose, because we can't we can't lose anything. We can't we can't lose something that we don't own. So so no plans to lose another drone. <laughs> sad time okay let's see uh for not Pereira any plans on coming back to Canada yes maybe this may yeah I need to sit down so for a bit Pereira? uh yeah for not oh know? never mind I thought I said Renault that's a youtuber oh really yeah uh yeah any plans to go back to Canada yeah maybe in Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. But it turns out this Inca market has no food. <laughs> yeah, it's we're going to go back to the center. It's then. fairly quiet right now, but I think it'll get popular because it's quite good for tourists. Like if you want to buy souvenirs, this is a great place to buy souvenirs. Yeah, that's the Inca uh, flag. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, the Inca flag is almost like a rainbow flag. Yeah. Uh, I think we actually will buy some souvenirs because uh, we're going to be back in Canada soon anyway. Uh, Sky Love, did you replace the drone? Yo, we crashed to a tree, we bought a new one, and then we crashed a new one into the ocean, and we were like, we have to be on timeout. We need to be put in the penalty box for drones for one month. Yeah. We bought two drones in a week. Uh, or sorry, I should say we crashed two drones in a week. So, we felt depression, and we felt, uh, we felt down. <laughs> and so now we're doing the no drone vlogging. Yeah, we didn't we didn't know about the wall in uh, in Lima. Maybe we'll yeah. investigate more and see if we can make a vlog there. But we'll it see. Is, I don't know what it is. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. I don't know if it's. I never heard about it till right now, so I have no. Yeah. Smart opinion to say. I wish someone could just come bring some Peruvian food and put it in my mouth. Oh I crashed mine in Albania, so yeah, it's kind of like, we did that too. Yo, we crashed one in Albania and two in Brazil, and we're on a roll. <laughs> we did have some Chinese food the other day. Uh, amazing. The best. Where is that? Oh. The restaurant Kong. Borja. Borja. <gasps> Let's go to Chinese food. I want Chinese food. We gotta find food right near here, because the longer we walk and live stream, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be too hungry and gonna fall over. Yeah. Are you guys planning to visit the villages in Peru? Um, maybe, yeah. I don't know much where we can go to see the villages here. Yeah, so the next month we are gonna be with this group called Wi-Fi Artists. We'll do a video about them soon, we'll tell you everything. Yeah. But it's like a community of friends we've just made. Yeah. And it's really great that everyone's so different. You got like, uh, you got like a French lady, you got some Americans. Yeah, from all over the world. All over the world, uh, Armenia, all these different people. And so it's pretty great to meet friends. And but we probably won't be doing too much off the beaten path stuff with them. They'll be sticking to tourist locations, Machu Picchu and stuff. Yeah. But this is the reason we'll probably stay in Peru after the Wi-Fi artist experience ends. Because then we can go random places in the middle of nowhere. We got some good ideas uh, for cool places in Peru, like small towns and stuff. Yeah, everyone is saying Mr. Kong. Mr. Kong. Mr. Kong, where is that? Gotta check. Mr. Kong, it says the best Chinese food. Okay, Will you we'll be hiking to Machu Picchu or taking the train? Uh, I want to take the train. Yeah, probably. The thing about hiking train. is it's a great experience for us to do it, but on video, hiking videos don't do well on YouTube, and they're just not really great. Yeah. It's the train would be much more easy, obviously, but also much more vloggable because you can do a train section in five or ten minutes, and then that's you know. Where a three, three or four day hike is going to be a long hiking video and doesn't get many views. So I think we'll take, there is a really cool train that has a glass roof and you can like look at the mountain as you're going through the mountains. Uh, that might be the idea. Glass roof train to Machu Picchu. Sounds like a good vlog. Mm -hmm. Yep. I will say this hat, I'm not sold on it. You don't like it? I like it. Why? I guess it's okay. Oh, why did you get it? <laughs> I'm not sure. Impulse buy. <laughs> That's life. I like it. 
Okay, Vaughn, we need to get food quick. I'm fading okay, fast. Let's go. We went to the gym. You got, guys, we went to the gym for the first time in ever. And when you when you when you go to the gym, you get so hungry and tired. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. Okay, Vana, what are you feeling like? Burgers? See what we come across. Okay, so out here, guys, we'll show you the street festival. We were we were fingers crossed, hoping for a uh, Police Avenue Part Two, but it's more of a biking trail where people are just. It's like it's like a it's like a jogging track or a cycling track. And so there is no live music and people selling Peruvian food. So that was a bit of a fail on our part, but this is the glory of being in a new country where you don't know nothing. You gotta try to make it happen. So this is a street festival. I guess not a festival. This is the pedestrian Sunday street. Maybe we'll go to the top and try to find some food. Let's go. I'm hungry. Looks super safe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's been our first impressions is like, uh, we've seen a couple homeless people. We've seen, a, I think, no graffiti. Um, it seems incredibly safe. Although we have been told that the area we're staying is the nicest and safest area, like tourist area. There's but we, even a nicer area than There's a couple nicer areas, but we're one of the nicest. And uh, we did do one adventure, and the video will be up on Tuesday. The adventure was uh, outside side of our area the center of downtown we went, to chinatown. went to chinatown and even in the more rougher areas of lima it's still super safe and clean and uh quite a nice city yeah. seems livable we were inquiring about what an apartment costs in lima because it seems super duper livable although we did learn that the past four presidents of peru are all in jail on corruption four in a row i'm like oh man that's terrible so and now they're actually doing some protests and they're not in love with the new guy so it's Every country has political turmoil, especially from COVID, I think. It made everything so much more tense and yeah. so much more unbearable. But uh, our friend was joking around about how uh, four in a row in jail is like, geez, come on. Maybe we'll get an ice cream from this guy, Ivana. Super <laughs> duper hungry. Meal. It's terrible. Oh, I, just, no. I just went to the gym. I'm super duper hungry. And my friends are asking me if I'm pregnant. It's like, oh gosh, I gotta go to the gym a lot. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> uh, let's find real food. Yeah, let's find real food and we can sit and eat because... Uh, let's go this way. You want to go down there? Yeah. Okay. Tabong. Oh, I also learned that uh, I was saying mucho, mucho bien. It means like many good. That's why everyone was laughing at me. I should say muy bien. It means very good. That's why everyone was laughing at me. I was saying many good, many good. Okay, maybe we can find a local restaurant over here. Yeah, rather than the main square, it's more touristy. And so here's a good example, guys. We're currently wandering around with our phone. Uh, the phone is super duper visible because I'm holding it out and you know and we don't really know where we're going and it's super duper safe whereas uh, a lot of places we wouldn't be doing this because it's more dangerous so I th think Lima is super safe we did get a bunch of good recommendations on Chile everyone's saying you want to see safe and clean capital city you got to go to Santiago Chile so maybe one day we can get to Chile um, Ivana was saying earlier we're doing this one hour talk or 45 minute talk at a place called Salina co-working space and they've got facilities all over south america so maybe we can link up with them and uh get some get some you know in, in, continue our south america trip and explore with some partnership with selena because are you nervous ivana on tuesday we got to do a one hour talk about our experience being a digital nomad what are you gonna say practice now hello everybody my name is ivana from jelly warriors been on the road for three years now just living in a backpack you know and uh okay so far you've done <laughs> you've done 15 seconds of your hour are you, <laughs> are you feeling confident <laughs> so maybe tomorrow or on tuesday morning we'll write a plan and try to figure out what the heck we're gonna say but it's a new experience for us we're gonna do a uh do a one hour talk cafe want to go close uh, as you can see, uh, no graffiti in terms of like vandalism or like, uh, you know, graffiti. You get some cool street art of this building, which is pretty great. And, uh, oh, I want all of it. Plato del Dia. 
Almost yeah. looks like this is like nasty goring. Yeah. With egg on top. Ooh. Okay, Ivana, the time is ticking. We must eat soon. Steve, you really like to eat fish now. You're absolutely right. I mean, I'm out here eating raw fish that's been cured in lemon. Dude, ceviche. And I still have my phobia in my head where when I saw the ceviche, I was like, I don't like this. But it took me a few bites and I was like, okay, ceviche is good. Everyone's saying go for a pisco sour. We have never tried a pisco sour. So maybe we'll go for a pisco sour. Pisco is the local alcohol and sour. Pisco sour is the drink. Sort of like a cachaza uh, type drink. Uh, not in terms of the ingredients, but in terms of the uh, homegrown national drink. Shout out to Antonio Costa. We got another super chat here. Um, so far, here's a question. So far, is South America different from what you imagined? Yeah, the thing is, I didn't really know much about South America. But everyone was, everyone was saying safety concerns. And we started our channel traveling Southeast Asia, which is like overwhelmingly safe. Uh, and also overwhelmingly affordable is a really common place for backpackers because you can spend less money and meet great people and have great food and it's totally safe. Southeast Asia is like the best traveling in the world. Yeah. In general. So uh, when we kind of changed gears and came to South America, everyone seemed to say like, you got to watch out, don't get mugged, don't get in trouble. But our experiences, we can handle it. We've been traveling so long. Hey, graffiti. <laughs> Found it. Uh, we've been traveling for long enough where we know how to get around pretty safe. And the thing is, is if it's not like a country is dangerous. The country is a big place. Yeah. There are certainly dangerous parts to the country, yeah. but there would have to be safe parts. I mean, there's millions of people living in these countries, so the idea that all of them are in danger all the time, is, you know, it's not like that. So uh, our experience in South America is uh, it's safe. You just got to keep your head on a swivel sometimes. But after a few days of being in a new city, you can figure out where is a safe spot and where is a not safe spot. For instance, here's another street corner. Hard to say this is like an unsafe or, you know, some kind of dangerous city. A little bit of garbage is in a bag tied up. No litter. Uh, looks pretty good. There's a nice building over here. So it's hard to say this is, um, you know, I'm not nervous at all with my phone being out is my point. But good question, uh, Antonio. And thank you again for the super chat. The chat pakara. What's your experience in South America, Ivana? What's your, uh, what, have you, what did you imagine beforehand and what do you say now? Oh, same like yours. Same like mine. The idea yeah. was uh, you were nervous about safety, but you can handle it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if you've and never it's... traveled before and you're leaving your home country to go to South America, then you might get startled because it's your first time yeah. ever traveling. Yeah, and it's more diverse than I thought. Like there's Asian people here, you know, the Afro-African people. So it's more the native more people diverse. yeah so it's more dry, di diverse yeah fair that's a good point too yeah good point look at that ivana you should do an hour talk you're, you speak well looks like i'll oh, oh, almost close the chat there okay here we go uh looks like a lot of medium cities in brazil uh yeah people are saying actually according to to the statistics lima is not overwhelmingly safe but uh you guys can see where we're walking like I say, Lima is a huge city. So there's some parts, I guess, that are not the safest, but I feel like where we are is uh, okay. More than okay. Yeah. Hola. Hey. Pastelaria artisanal. Oh, I love it. But seriously, Ivana, the time is ticking. I need to eat. Yeah, people are saying dangerous sort of everywhere, but uh, Brazil might be more dangerous than... Uh, it's so funny because the opinions are so divided. Some people are saying Brazil is certainly more dangerous than Lima, and some people are saying Brazil is not dangerous at all. <laughs> so it depends on where you go and what your experience is and also how you present yourself. You can you can walk around like a total airhead and, and attract danger because you look like a target. Or you can be uh, wearing a Voshko jersey in, in Rio, just blending in. And wearing a tourist hat. <laughs> My hat is super tourist right now, but I feel okay. Maybe here, babe. I see chairs. I see chairs. What do you guys say? Oh, it's a seafood restaurant. The raw food restaurant. What is it called? Raw food. Pisco sour. Yeah, okay, we go here and get a pisco sour, Ivana. And uh, and a cheeseburger or something. We go here, babe, where are you going? You wanna go here? Go you wanna go local food? Yeah. Okay, local food better. This is too touristy for Ivana. People are saying the Vasco is a Target t-shirt. You wear Vasco in Rio and you, you be targeted because you're not flamingo. 
Actually, Ivana saw a Flamengo jersey on sale here in Lima. True, right? Yeah, run. Andale, andale. Okay, guys, not a bad live stream today. Just a simple one. We don't really know much of the good live stream spots yet. We just got here last week. But uh, we got 120 people in the chat. We are cruising around Lima looking for some local eats. Ivana, do you know any Peruvian dishes outside of ceviche? What is the other Peruvian dish? Like, what are the other, some of the other... Lomo saltado? Oh, saltado. So, like, salted llama. Uh, no, llama. Beef. Oh. I thought you said lomo. Yeah, lomo is beef. Oh, lomo is beef. Okay, I thought lomo was llama. That was a bad assumption. So, I do wonder, like, this apartment building. Let's just look at this for a second. Uh, what does an apartment here cost to buy? Is it closer to 100 grand or is it closer to 400 grand? I really don't know uh, because it seems like a decent place to live. Uh, and I don't know what if it's, I don't know if it's affordable or if it's, you know, it's always kind of curious to me what the local prices are. Is there something like Rodizio? Yeah, nice building, right? I was just talking about that. Ivana, is there something like Rodizio in Peru or like Chujasco? I haven't seen it really. I haven't seen the uh, barbecue meat or like uh, chujasco. One thing I miss about Brazil is chujasco. I'll tell you that much. A whole plate full of meat. Come on. Picanha. Also, um, beef, skewer beef, uh, beef heart is very popular. Beef heart is popular in Lima. Oh. Like as a street food. They just grill it on the side of the street. Bike. Really? Oh, okay. Maybe we'll do that in a video one day. Eat some roadside beef heart. Sounds a bit much. Another street corner here, a little bit graffiti. Uh, but super nice and clean. I feel safe. People walking around, families, you know. Yo, we came to the one part of the neighborhood where nobody eats nothing. This is the home cooked neighborhood. Nobody eats at restaurants over there. But super nice. Come on. Construction over here happening. Come on. Totally manageable. Totally manageable. All right, let me look at some of your comments here because, uh, yo, people are really recommending Lomo Saltado. Uh, it, it, Lomo Saltado is a Peruvian dish with an Asian touch. So maybe we go for a Lomo Saltado and a Pisco Sour right now. That might be my... Uh, go back to the main area. Just eat it. We can find something. Let's go off the beaten path here, babe. Sometimes we can get lucky. Although we could get unlucky and find no food at all. Yeah, oh, that's another good Peruvian dish. So there also is something called uh, cuy, they call it. And it's guinea pig. I'd be, I'd be interested in eating that. I don't feel bad about it. I did hear one Peruvian person say there is a rumor. They're not, it's, not, uh, it's not proved. But there's a rumor that they call it cuy because the guinea pig sounds like cuy, 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 cuy. And so they named it after the sound it makes. Although we're not sure if this is a uh, fact. Uh, it reminds you of rabbits? Yeah, I think it's a rodent. It might be closer to like a mouse, which sounds bad. Then you sound like you're eating a rat, which sounds really gross. But uh, it's certainly much more cute and cuddly and friendly than a rat. I should not compare it to rats. This is a wrong uh, comparison. Steve needs a good meal after that gym. Yeah, true. For a second, I thought you said Steve needs a good gym after that meal. I was like, man, everyone's calling me fat today. But yeah, you're right. I need a good meal. Look at these apartments, though. Super nice. I will say no, uh, almost no high rises in Lima. This kind of building here, like this, what is that, six or seven stories, uh, might be the tallest or some of the tallest. You don't see the 30 or 40 story building. Which is kind of amazing because Lima's got 11 million people and it's all in low rises. Hey, very American truck. Shout out. Shout out to the F-150 with a lift kit. Very American truck. It's a pretty tall building. You gonna run? Okay, don't get hit by a car. He did say you need a good gym. Yeah, I thought so. He needs a good gym after, after, a, good, after a meal. Okay, this week, I should say this month, I should get back in shape because we got a, today, Ivana and I got a gym membership. 
So we are officially one month members of the gym and I'm gonna do, do a body transformation. Stay tuned. Uh, no, I don't think it was a Raptor that truck. I think it was an F-150 with like uh, bigger tires on it. But very familiar to the Canadian or American. Yo, Ivana, are they selling snacks here? I'm so hungry, man. Lots of restaurants here. Look at that, we did it, guys. Ooh, this one looks very local. This one here says uh, El Mac Chifa. So this phrase Chifa, C-H-I-F-A, if you see here, Chifa, uh, in Mandarin, it translates to eat rice. So you don't say you're going for Chinese food, you say you're going for Chifa, which means, eat, literally means eat rice, but they use it as, but they use it as a term to mean uh, Chinese Peruvian food. So I'm okay for Chifa. Chifa. I'm okay for Chifa. Okay, good guys. We we found the uh, restaurant. This is uh, Chifa Song. Chifa Sang. Okay, let's eat here. Prices look good. I'm gonna get Lomo Sotaldo. So I don't know. Oh, they may not have it. Lomo Sotaldo. Uh, I'm gonna get number 17. For 16 soles, which is like four dollars American. Uh, Combinado. Combinado, por favor. Or pollo with piña, which is. Okay, let's go inside. Don't be shy. I'm ready. The sooner you go in, the sooner you order. Let me just spin the camera around so I can be a little bit more respectful. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, Ivana, perfect. Maybe, maybe there. Fantastic. Fantastic. We did it, guys. We did it. Hola. Uh, okay. Here, that's the menu. Okay. You got lo lomo saltado? Yeah, lomo saltado. Uh, I'm gonna get the combinado, I think. No, we also learned that when the Chinese were brought here for work, uh, they brought Chinese men and almost no Chinese women. So almost all the Chinese population is mixed. Um, because you don't see, like in, so in Sao Paulo, you would see a Japanese looking person who looked just straight up Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, but they spoke Portuguese, obviously. But oh, in, um, oh, super, super chat. chat, super duper chat. Oh, thank you so you much. You guys are making me hungry. Order an extra plate, we'll do. We'll do, we're, we're not going to the gym anymore. Gym's off the table. We're gonna eat twice. We're gonna eat twice and go to the gym once. Thanks, Kyla. Really appreciate it. It uh, okay. it really helps us. I think I'm gonna get pojo with piña. Pojo with piña for Ivana. Oh, what is chica? Chica I don't know. Okay. The hat is okay. I'm not sold on the hat. Drink, drink. It's manageable. I'll have it if you don't like it. You can, okay, try it on. What do you guys say, me or Ivana? Oh, it looks so good on Ivana. I think I just uh, bought you a gift. Okay. Um, yeah. And uh, for your company. Sofa or wonton? Uh, okay, you want wonton soup? Wonton soup, okay. See. Si. Uh, soup. Soup. Or you want the person? No, meat is one. Okay. One, one. And drink. Alcohol. Or Inca Cola. Uh, oh, we did try Inca Cola too. Yeah. We did, we did try Inca Cola. Just yesterday. Order cold Inca Cola. Okay, I'll get Inca Cola. It tastes like, to me, it tastes like cream soda. That's what Inca Cola yeah. tastes like. Yeah. A lot of people say it tastes like bubble gum, but it just tastes like cream soda. Yes, yes. Oh, this might be, um... So we didn't order a drink, but you brought two cups. Maybe it's, they just yeah. give tea. And the owner is Chinese. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway, thanks again for Sky Love. I uh, really appreciate it. Lucuma juice con leche. Lucuma con leche is so good. Yesterday we went for dinner with our friends from Martha Artist and Ivana, Ivana ordered Lucuma con, con leche, leche and then she gave some sips to other people and then a bunch of other people also ordered it because they were amazed. It tastes like a caramel milkshake. Yeah, very good. It tastes like dessert even though it's... 13 pojo something. <laughs> 13 pojos on me. Oh, Ivana's uh, hair looking good. Thank you. Uh, you guys are awesome. Enjoy your dinner. You're welcome. Thanks, Sky. I love. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we'll show Super you the food. Thing. I hope it doesn't, it won't take too long. Yeah. Oh, oh the wonton This is, is the wonton soup already. It's fast. Gracias. 
Nice. Okay, so uh, appetizer in the Chinese appetizer. restaurant. One I got soup. one soup. And I got the crispy dispy. Crispy crunchy. Yeah. Oh, the Bomba. sambal. Sambal. <laughs> Ivana always wants sambal. Every meal she wants a little chili, spicy sauce. chili, chili. Yeah, we gotta try Lukuma ice cream. Everyone's saying Lukuma yeah, ice cream. Yeah, maybe we can find an ice cream shop here. Uh, maybe we can find an ice cream shop after. I will say Lukuma uh, ice cream will be compared to mm. acai bowl. I'm worried yeah, Lukuma maybe. ice cream will be better because Lukuma is so good. Mm, so good. Show that the, the thing, the spicy sauce. It's not spicy. It's like kind of sweet and spicy. Your sauce. Mm. I will say this. I didn't realize in Brazil, so obvious. That pastel, that big oh, fried yeah. thing, it comes from wonton. Yeah. The pastel thing Brazilian is wonton. Brazilian pastel is from Chinese I wonton. remember the first time I tried pastel, I said it looks Chinese. I didn't know why, but it's because it was inspired by wonton. Mm -hmm. It's basically, a pastel is a gigantic wonton. Yeah. That's what a pastel is. Mmm, it's good. Let me try my wonton. It's still hot. <laughs> Look at it. Super hot. <laughs> Oh, hi guys, my wife is from Lima. Very good city to eat. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Hmm. What is the cheapest and most expensive countries you have ever been to? Most expensive, probably Germany. Germany or Japan? Yeah. Most expensive. Uh, cheapest? The least expensive would be India or Vietnam. It's Vietnam, yeah. Vietnam with good quality. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. That's why Chinese people famously own lots of pastel yes. places. Our, ah. our Brazilian friend told us that the pastel was inspired by the wonton, which makes sense. If you look at a wonton, it's got that same bubbly pastry as pastel. So boom. What? A Brazilian guy said. He lives in uh, Sao Paulo and never had Guarana. What? <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Can you show us the food you're eating now? Mm. Yep. Ivana's got wonton soup. Appetizer right now, wonton soup. And Steve got fried wonton. Dry fried wonton. Boomba. So I guess we ordered our meal and this comes with every meal. Mm -hmm. So she said, okay, do you want the soup or the dry? Very good. Not bad, I'm so hungry yeah. that it's good enough. The broth is very gingery, which I like. I like ginger and garlicky, which I like too. Mm. Oh, he said he never had a Jesus Guarana which is a brand of guarana that's pink. Ah, oh, we didn't have that. But he said it's the same as the other guaranas. Mm -hmm. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, Guillerme, oh my God, torture, three, three, is it PM? Oh mm -hmm. yeah, PM, and you haven't eaten yet. Go get some food. Mm -hmm. So lots of Lima videos coming and lots of crew stuff. I think we'll be here two months. Yeah. So we'll see how, how we can get going. And then from there, maybe Canada, and then maybe Bangladesh. Yeah, this is super, um, I'll show you guys the place around. Yeah, yeah. Super local place, Chinese eatery right here. A small Chinese place. Chifa, not Chinese. Chifa. Yeah. Now our feet. Nice, right? Yeah. Just nice. And we just kind of came here because we just were walking along and saw the sign. Okay. Mm. Any plans on visiting Asia soon? Mm, yeah. Maybe. I think after Canada will be Bangladesh. Bangladesh. I think. Yeah, we'll definitely go to Cusco. Mm. We might go twice actually. Our friends at Wi Fi Artists will go for like four days and we might go for a week or two afterwards. Because the Chinese in Peru speak Chinese. 
Yes. I think so what? because on a lot of the signs they have Chinese characters. Mm -hmm. I think so. Uh, but I think most of them, maybe the younger generation, they don't speak it anymore. Uh, maybe. Maybe they have. Um, most of them have um, Spanish last name. Yeah. Right. Or Spanish name in general. Yeah, yeah Spanish name. Uh, question from Julia. How about the safety in Peru? Um, we found it totally safe. Although we're staying in a super touristy area, kind of fancy area. So we haven't explored all around Peru yet. Uh, we'll let you know if we feel danger moving forward. But so far it's been super safe. How about the nightlife? It's funny that because we're with Wi-Fi artists, um, we actually stayed out till like 10.30 the other day. Like in a, bar, <laughs> in a bar till like 10.30, 10.45. And yeah, there's a there's a nightlife scene. There's a bunch of clubs and mm -hmm. people dancing and loud music. And the, the doors are kind of open, so you can hear the music in the street. So you can walk down the street and, and hear the music of each club each time you pass it, and yeah. go in or out. We didn't go to the club. We just kind of had the we had dinner and had some drinks with our friends, then went home. But um, I guess there is a nightlife scene. Yeah, we were in one place having a beer, and then we met some locals, and they're like, "This place is no good. We gotta go over there. It's a better place." <laughs> and the place was like huge with like music and people dancing. It seemed like it was quite good and they were like, no, no, there's better ones, we gotta come. But we didn't go with them. Someone tried Nikkei food, which is the Peruvian Japanese food. We will try Nikkei food one day. Of course. We should make a vlog about that. Too. Sure. Yeah. Um. Mm. Skylove says Peru is very safe, always on your guard. Always be on your guard, but it's very safe. Yeah. I spent a lot of time there and I really love Peru. Yeah, sounds good. I think we agree with you. I think always be on your guard is good for any country you're in, yeah. especially as a tourist. But I think we can manage. I mean, we've been traveling for three years. I think we have developed some skills to do this safely, you know? Mm, any Korean here? Actually, I don't know. I don't know. We know Chinese and Japanese. I'm not sure about Korean, actually. Question from Steel Knight. Any plans to check out Bolivia? Um, we were going to go to Bolivia after Peru, but we might just stay in Peru a little longer. Maybe we can still see oh, Bolivia you're afterwards. Almost out Gracias. Yo, guys. I think I ordered. I think I ordered exactly what I want. Look at this. So French fries with sauce on them. Meat. Beef, onion, all sauce together Can with, with fried. Go ahead, you want it? Ah. Oh gosh. Looks good, no? Yo, I got so hungry seeing this. Onion, french fries. Oh man, this is hard. Don't be shy, <laughs> don't be shy. Okay, I'll try this. Ah, it's hot. Ah. Ooh, it's very good. Mm. What's the flavor? Like, what's the sauce? Soy sauce for sure, and some other ones that I don't know. Well, the flavor is very good. Mm -hmm. The sauce is very good. It's almost like soy sauce and teriyaki. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Woo. Yo, good order. Successful order. So, Ivana, you are officially in charge of the live stream. So I'm going to eat this so fast, I will not be able to say one word. You know what? I'm going to eat slowly like an adult. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yes, Steve. Chew your food. Woo. Chew your food. Woo. 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 No bones in Steve's meal. <laughs> Bone is skinless, baby. Uh, Shirley says, <clears throat> how long have you been traveling? I didn't order a drink. We didn't get drinks. Yeah. We got cups and no drink. Let's get water, no? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chili, um, Lomo Saltado, the dish that Steve is having right now, it's a Chifa food, Peruvian Chinese food. It's one of the national dish of Peru. Actually. Yo, it's good actually. One of the national dish of Peru is this lomo saltado. Mm. And some agua. Agua, por favor. Mm. Oh, I just go get it, Mimi. Ah, okay, uh, okay, okay. Okay, just, okay, just. Yes, yes.
<laughs> Alright, that was a fail. I'm like, that was water? So yeah, go get it in the fridge. Go get it in the sorry. <laughs> no, I want you to get it for me. <laughs> oh, and this is my, my feet. Yay. Gracias. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Ivana, another good order. Which looks like... um. Chicken and pineapple. Sweet and sour. Yo, we are eating good right now. Yo, I'm so hungry, I can't even think. I'm so hungry. Steve is eating on my behalf, says Ronnie. It's a deal. Yes, thanks, Ronnie. Oh my gosh. Ivana, do you consider, do you think Western food is salty, too salty for the Eastern palate? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I think I'm usually asking because in the, in the Western food, salt is like the only, not the only spice, but <clears throat> oh. the most common spice, you know? Right, right, right. Well, in the East, they have so many different spices and flavors. Yeah. Well, Western now, they add, for me, Western, they, most of the food now, they add like more herbs, like oregano, basil. Yeah. Uh, right? Yo, this is good food. Let's see. Uh, lomo sotodo. This is really good. Mm. Thanks to all our subscribers and followers and super chats today buying us this meal. Yes. Wanna try this? Try mine. Mm -hmm. Let me try? Yeah. <laughs> hot. Uh oh. Did I burn your tongue? Yeah, too hot. Doesn't fail. Woo! I got the sweet and sour chicken, I think. That was mm. fail. Question from Justin, he was good. He said, what do you think of the subs in um, Brazil? 25K new subs in three months. Mm -hmm. uh, are you happy with that? Or do you think it was, it's not far from Romania? The thing in, in Brazil was, um, so, so um, you don't earn money from subs, you earn money from views, obviously. We did have our second highest month ever. January was our second most views in one month. The problem is January is the lowest earnings per view in any country. Because after Christmas, advertisers don't want to spend on advertising as much. So we had our second highest most viewed month. Our second most viewed month. And it wasn't even in like top five or six for most earnings. So the reception was pretty good in terms of views. Although it wasn't in terms of money. So that's not necessarily Brazil's fault. That's just the timing of that time of year. Um, yeah, so views from rich countries are worth more. It's not that simple because if you're having a view from, let's say, a really poor country, let's say Vietnam, you have a view from Vietnam. But let's imagine the guy who's watching your video is a rich Vietnamese. It would be, it's not so much the country, it's the it's the uh, how much the advertiser wants to advertise to that person. So it's more like the income of the person. Now on average, certain countries have lower incomes than other countries, but it's more about who the audience is. Is it a high class audience or a, or a you know, in rural India, you're not gonna get a high view because it's small town India. So Brazilian views... Like someone who has a channel about cars might earn more than someone who has channels about, uh, I don't know, makeup or something, maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, some of, the, yeah. some of the more profitable channels are makeup. It's not only the cost of the item you're advertising, but also just how like how much advertising is important yeah. in an industry. So anyway, I'm not sure how much, um, I'm not sure how much Brazilian views are worth compared to European. Usually European views are worth more, but in the end we had, like I said, our second most viewed month ever, mm -hmm. which I think is a success I and mean, it's pretty good. Uh, but it wasn't even in our top five for most earnings. In terms of subs, it was 25K in three months. It's not bad for us. I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah. Seven or more, like 8,000 a month. It's pretty good. Um, 
Oh, we didn't earn that much money though. Maybe. We went from 120 to almost 150 now. Yeah, maybe like 25 or 30 K subs. Yeah. Do you know any, this is a good question from Julia. Do you know any first aid in case you need it? No. Any what? First aid. No. Not at all. But we don't go by ourselves like on long hikes or anything where you might need to do. Yeah. Yeah, Netherlands would be really good for a for few uh, earnings, for sure. But anyway, we're partially traveling to earn money and partially traveling because we enjoy traveling. So mm -hmm. we really enjoyed Brazil. So in terms of money, it wasn't necessarily the best, but in terms of our experience, it was really good. Yeah, Canada would be up near Japan. It would be the top countries are like Canada, USA, Japan, Germany. I think Norway is super high and New Zealand Maybe. is super high. It's just fully developed countries have less people in poverty and people in poverty are have less you cost. Is it Gamara? What's Gamara? I don't know. I guess it's a market. Oh, for pulling. Yeah. Sorry guys, we're too busy eating now. Yo, this food is really good. I love the way the fries are in the, are in the <laughs> saute. Yeah. Or and they're like fry. real fries, not like yeah. frozen fries. Real fries in the stir fry. Quite nice. Yo, Serbian views were worth quite. Mm -hmm. Serbian views were quite good. Serbia, we had lower views because we only did two videos a week for most of it, but the earnings were quite good in Serbia. Yeah. It's hard to know. Plus there's other factors because sometimes certain advertisers will select your videos. They give you the only one in a country making travel videos. Certain advertisers will <coughs> select your channel to run up. <laughs> you need some water. <laughs> to run like a <coughs> You're starving over here. <laughs> but certain advertisers could run an advertising campaign on your channel, then it drives your channel up. So it's hard to predict. Yeah. We've been on for more than a oh my God. an hour. These live streams go so long, so quickly. 75 minutes. Mm -hmm. What are you guys oh, eating? Let's Andrew show the food again. Yo, Andrew, the food is really good. This is Chinese Peruvian called Chifa food. This is. Uh, chicken. Sweet and sour chicken with pineapple. Sweet and, and uh, sour nasi goreng. And nasi goreng. And mine is a home run. So it's uh, lomo, lomo de soltado. It's uh, got French fries in the stir fry, which I love, and the sauce is and really this is delicious. Actually one of the national dish of Peru is a Chinese food. It's really good. Yeah. The, one of the national dishes of Peru is Chinese food. Yeah. That's interesting. Chipa, and the, the sauce is like soy sauce and teriyaki. Like mm -hmm. very flavorful soy sauce with some nasi goreng. Super yeah. duper good. Five stars. Ding. Uh, question was, can you pick your advertisers? No, 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 you don't get any say. YouTube takes care of all of that stuff and you're just responsible for making videos. Um, Salamat Makan, thanks buddy. When will you explore Jogja? Hmm. Greetings from Jogja, Indonesia. God bless you and you know, keep both of you cold King Leon. Uh, really nice comment. I would Georgia. love to visit Jogja. You've never been there yet. No. I'm Indonesian. I have family in Jakarta. But I haven't brought Steve to Jogja yet. So we need to go there. Once the border, Indonesian border is open, we will go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again. We'll visit Malaysia and we'll visit Indonesia. Mm -hmm. In our Southeast Asian trip. Yeah, must do. Yeah. Must do. I think the end of the year will be it there. It seems like, Hopefully. fingers Hopefully. crossed, it seems like COVID restrictions, like globally, like worldwide, are starting to go down. Like everyone's starting to ease up. The pandemic is starting to end, it seems like. It's not over yet, I understand, and it's still serious and you must protect yourself, but um, it seems like everyone, every country is starting to slow down with their um, restrictions mm -hmm. and quarantine and no tourists and so hopefully this year and next year we can get back to freely moving around. Hopefully. I think 
everything through so, um, so far, besides Malaysia, is the strictest country in terms of putting your mask on, uh, checking vaccine certificate, yeah. and things like that. Yeah. So far. Mm -hmm. Yo, this food is so good. Dude, this is one. This is really good. This is why it's, it, it's obvious why it's a national dish. <laughs> You both have become Brazilianized. Your Spanish was better before Brazil. Now you both speak Portuguese. <laughs> I love the work you put on your channel. Shout out to uh, Joao Bum Bum. Joao Bum Bum. A uh, really funny comment. We both are Brazilianized. I still sometimes, when someone speaks Spanish to me, I'll say, uh, no. Obrigado. Yeah, say obrigado or say, no fellow Portuguese. No, I'll let video. So, I definitely have Portuguese on my mind. Okay guys, maybe we'll end the live stream soon. We don't have much more to say, we're just eating. Mm -hmm. um, the food is really good, I gotta tell you. Peruvian food is really nice. Yeah. Right. And again, please let us know in the comments uh, of what we should do in Peru mm -hmm. or what do you guys wanna see us do in Peru. Oh, one good question, and you're absolutely right. Um, from T. A. Guiar, do you guys cook or learn how to cook local meals? Yes, Ivana is world-class chef. <laughs> no. Home cook. You think Yvonne is good Home at vlogging? Cook. She's twice as good at cooking. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Yvonne will learn how to make certain recipes. And hopefully, fingers crossed, when we go back, when it's all said and done, that we're back in Canada, Yvonne will be making a new dish from a new country every day for dinner. High five. That would be something special. Today we're having Peruvian. <laughs> Me? Dish. How about you? You're the, oh, Yvonne. I'll try, but it'll be taste bad. No, you can do it. Maybe we'll do a cooking class here. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can do a cooking class. Yeah, we used to do cooking videos on our channel quite a bit. Especially when we were in Malaysia, there was lockdown. So when we, we couldn't were in travel. Lockdown, yeah. So we were like, what can we do to make some videos? And so we did Ivana cooking videos. You'll see some old videos on our channel of Ivana cooking Malaysian food. Mm -hmm. uh, that was part of our channel for a while. We kind of drifted away from it. Maybe we'll do it again. We have a kitchen now. Okay, we're gonna do a cooking video just for you, T. Agriar. <laughs> it's a cooking video. Yeah. Oh, having fries and fried rice is no something you will find in a not something typical. Yes, not something you will find in a typical Chinese food. Yes, this is Peru. That's why it's Peruvian Chinese food, chifa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. chifa literally means eat rice. Yeah. In Mandarin, chifa means eat rice. So they call this type of food like eat rice food, mm -hmm. which means Chinese food. Shout out to Floripa. Yo, this is good food. Mm -hmm. The sauce is so flavorful. I think it's just simple. I think it's just like soy sauce and then some other small ingredients. Yeah, like other type of sauce. I don't know what type of Yeah, I don't know either, but it's really good. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I really miss if on a cooking video. That's wrong. Really? Okay, we're gonna do another one soon. What we'll do is we'll do ceviche. That's an interesting one. No cook fish and lime juice. We'll figure it out. Sounds good. The thing is with raw fish, I'm scared I'll get everyone sick. Ooh, <laughs> with raw fish, you got to I don't even. That, I don't even know how to buy. It. You're in charge of buying the raw fish. Okay. Yo. <laughs> it's good food. Yeah, what it's a really good food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Steve has high metabolism. True fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the video is poor quality. Maybe we're struggling with connection. Sorry about that, guys. We are in, we are on our, right. uh, we're on our 4G, whatever. But maybe it's not doing well. Anyway, I think we'll end the live stream. Yeah. We did have over 100 people the whole time. It was really nice to talk to you guys. Thank you very much to all the super chatters. Thank yeah. you very much to all the regular chatters. Um, and oh, I do want to say, <clears throat> yo, I'm choking today. <laughs> What's up with you again? Every time you eat. 
chew your food, swallow them. I did want to say this. Um, we're trying to give a name for our followers. I think we're zeroing in on jet setters. Mm -hmm. Although I think jet setters actually means like rich and famous people, which kind of goes against our backpacking theme. <laughs> But we like the idea of keeping jet as the first word, so we got jet live for our live streams. Mm -hmm. um, jet setters, because we, you guys had some good op some good options of like jet fam or like jet crew. Jet boys. We're not sure. Anyway, it's still an open idea. But let us know any new ideas. It doesn't have to say jet at the beginning, but it's just something for a name for our jet packers. Okay, we got jetpackers, which is pretty good from Andrew Jung. <laughs> and we got and we got jet setting hippies, which is pretty good too. We're not hippies though. <laughs> but it just it just it just dampens the jet setter. Because jet setter is like a is like a famous person. Mm. Slow is down, it? Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so let us know in the comments if you got a good idea for our crew name. Uh, we're still taking new suggestions. Jetpacker is pretty good. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, oh, Sky Love. I'm a flight attendant, so jet setter is also. It might be jet setters, but we're still taking ideas. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We will end the live stream now. Um, oh, jet jet laggers is not bad. If Ivana and Steve, oh, this is this is classic just me comment. If Yvonne and Steve ever have twins that are boys, how will they call them? The Jet Sons. Oh man, this is a great comment. This is a top quality YouTube comment. Top quality YouTube comment. The Jet Sons, I, I totally get it. Totally love it. Uh, it's um, Auntie. Oh. Oh, Auntie, Auntie Chukos is the um, part, beef heart. Oh, beef heart. Yeah. Someone was saying, it's some Auntie Chukos at night. Chuchos? Chuchos. Cuchos. Cuchos. Okay. Jetsons. People are loving that joke by just me. Good joke, buddy. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll, we'll see you on Tuesday. We have another video. I think it might be another long one because we're getting more comfortable on camera, talking more, and... Oh, Jet Squad. Squad is not the worst. Anyway, thanks for all your ideas, guys. We'll see you on Tuesday. Uh, maybe we'll premiere the video if we have time. Although Tuesday might be a little busy because Tuesday we will be, we will oh, be. Oh yeah, we'll be doing a talk. We'll be doing a one-hour talk. Jeff Rose. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks a lot, guys. We will see you on Tuesday. Love you. Thank you again to our super chatters. Thank you again to our regular chatters, and thank you again to all of our jet name pending. Bye.